how are ya? Nox is Flack here, and welcome to a unique video. This week, I'm going to start off things with an explanation on how to connect your old, and as you can see, very dusty N64 or other AV using uh, old console to your computer to then record videos. So, first thing I have here is a mini AV2 HDMI UV scaler. So that's a I'll have a link for where you can get this. This is under 20 bucks. And as you can see, what's happening is you have the UV or the AV right here, your yellow, your white, and your red. Here is simply a power supply plugs into your regular three-prong outlet. And then this output is actually an HDMI cable. HDMI cable is what you're gonna actually connect to the next bit. Um, that's me explaining the USB to power. And then also, you, you can't upscale things from 720p to to 1080p, but sometimes, and I'm not sure why, it'll look better, sometimes it'll look the same, sometimes it'll start looking better, but the game will chug, or, or the game's not really chugging, the video output is, output is chugging, so it doesn't always work the way you want it to, but that's not the main purpose, the main purpose here is to connect your console to the computer to then record. So next you're going to need an HDMI, High Definition Multimedia Interface, Video Capture Card. Uh, I'll have the link to this as well in the description below. So this HDMI right here is actually connected to your previous device. You saw that HDMI. This video capture card is what your recording software is actually going to see. And then here is your output. This output actually will go to the next thing, which is just your computer. Alright, there you go. Fairly simple, not too complicated. But, I'm now going to go to my OST, which is what I'm using to uh, record. And you should be able to see, hopefully that was a seamless transition, right? I have Banjo Kazooie, just run, it's just the main menu, it's just running, right? And if I were to grab the controller, which is currently connected to the system, and I press press start, right? I just look at the computer screen and I play it. There it is. And it's, it's the game starting right from the beginning. So this has been Noxus Flack. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about that part, because the next part is a little tricky. Um, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to use OBS. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to. All right. So for the second part of this, I'm gonna show you what the OBS software looks like. This is what it looks like. It is a free software, and this is of course a screenshot because I'm using the OBS software to record a picture of the OBS software. Uh, you can see that I had a couple of attempts here. Uh, because I was not actually uh, correctly um, identifying the capture card and the audio. Uh, I could delete these old ones, but I thought it was worth pointing out that you can't, it is, can be a bit finicky. So the first thing you want to do is you want to press this plus button here and click on video capture device. The video capture device is the black stick that looks like a USB uh, save drive that connects both the HDMI from the AV converter unit to the USB. So once you have that captured, you'll typically get video. Now audio is going to be the second part of this. Let me get to the next slide. Um, oh yeah, and before I move on to audio, when you are in the video capture device details, the one thing I notice you have to do as like a part one to get the sound correct is you need to go all the way to the bottom of the scroll and you go to audio output mode and you and you click all output desktop audio direct sound. That works for my device and my setup. It might be different for you, but this right here is going to be part one of determining that your audio actually works. And just as a reminder, that's if you were to double click on this after you've added a video capture device from the list that will be created when you click this plus button. Next thing you'll want to do, and I'll show you where to click on the first slide, here on these three dotted lines, or dots, here on these three dots, and then if you were to scroll down, 
the three dots that are below the screen here. All of them are pulling from your computer's default audio device. A lot of computers have just stupid default audio devices. It could be a, it could be trying to go to your monitor, but your monitor doesn't have a microphone, and your monitor doesn't have an audio. If you have a laptop, the default probably is going to be correct, but not always. But I have a desktop. And so you want to do is you want to right click or double click on the dotted line and then you're going to see the device here. My headset is the Arctis, Arctis Pro, so for whatever reason, wireless chat is what's written after my headphone set. So for the desktop audio, for the microphone, and for the video capture device, I want all of those devices to go to the headset that I am recording on, like I'm recording right now. Uh, after doing all of that, you'll be able to connect any console that uses, <clears throat> pardon me, AV cable. So, do you want to play your N64, your PlayStation 2, your Xbox 360, your Wii, etc., etc., uh, the GameCube, all of it can be connected to your computer. Now, this is a lot easier if you have two or more monitors, so you can dedicate one monitor to the actual recording and to the gameplay, and the other monitor could be your script or, or something else running that you want during the play, like, like the website of how to beat the game, whatever. And then, finally, I've noticed that uh, the, you know, the music's going a bit crazy, the banjo and kazooie, but I've noticed that the video capture card's a little finicky, so like if you were to just pick it up or, or just move it a little, not just not trip on it, not not doesn't need to be very forceful, but if you just touch it, um, it will lose the connection to the console and it'll freeze, and um, restarting the computer is pretty much the fix, and I find you want to restart the computer with your N64 or like device on. Uh, if it's off and then you restart your computer, for some reason that doesn't always uh, make the connection work. So this has been Noxus Slack. This is how you connect uh, your console that uses AV cables to your computer for recording. And after this video, I am going to start my Christmas special, the Kirby 64 Crystal Shards full playthrough. And so let me know in the comments below, did you like that game? And please let me know if you have any questions about how to do this connection, because it took me a little bit of trial and error to get this right. I will see you in the next one.